San Diego is known as America's finest city, although residents of the finest city may feel otherwise. I have lived in the San Diego County for 20 years now with my family. I grew up in a middle-class socioeconomic position, and I have witnessed some financial hardships for my parents. Like many other middle-class families, you're constantly saving money when you can. When I moved out of my home for college, I myself faced those same financial hardships as a full-time worker and student. Not only is the city expensive because it's populated with tourists often, but the housing crisis for residents has also been kicked to the curb because of the lack of affordability for middle-class families, college students, and many other residents in the county. News station CBS interviewed residents of the San Diego County to hear their opinion. Oceanside resident Jake Lewis stated that it's just the price you pay and you have to choose what you spend your money on. So what's the source and why is San Diego one of the most expensive places to live in the U.S.? And why is there not enough housing for these residents? San Diego elected leaders have been working on an affordable housing for years but sadly, their efforts have been largely unsuccessful. San Diego now tops the list for having the nation's most unaffordable housing market. One of the groups most affected by the housing and rental crisis is the generation of the baby boomers. It was stated by the national statistics that by the year 2030, there will be approximately 9 million people of that generation between the ages of 66 and 84. This means that most will be on fixed incomes and in need of some form of affordable housing. San Diego lacks the bare minimum of affordable housing to meet the needs of the growing senior population, and local government must do much more to increase the supply the affordable housing dilemma in San Diego is a supply and demand issue that was self-inflicted. One of the most damaging factors that has led to the affordable housing crisis in San Diego must be the city's own costly and slow permitting process. In order to begin to build affordable homes, local government needs to take the steps and waive or reduce building permit fees on housing projects. You may be wondering if officials have done anything to resolve this issue. In the past three decades, San Diego has struggled to even issue 12,000 housing permits per year needed to keep up with the population growth. According to local San Diego County News, on March 14th of this year, 2022, Mayor Todd Gloria signed the first part of the Homes for All of Us initiative. This is the mayor's attempt to make it easier to build new homes in the city and reduce some of the housing crisis. This means that a property owner's house can be split into a duplex, which is two to four families, and can also attempt to eliminate the homeless problem. The families sacrificing half of their land also gets a bonus as an additional income. Would this cause controversy? Some may argue that the city is now becoming more rentable and not affordable to own a home. So what can residents do to help this crisis? Utilizing the Homes for All of Us initiative can help multiple families at once get out of their unaffordable apartment into a new home. Expounding housing is the obvious goal, but it's up to the residents to assist and comply to new ideas. It is also determined by San Diego authorities for them to better this issue by signing off contractors to give them what they need and give them the green light to start building more homes. Currently, longtime residents of San Diego are now moving out of the city and even some even out of the state to stay afloat, live a comfortable life, and have more affordable prices. Many, on the other hand, are working two or more jobs to pay rent, stay on top of their bills, and stay in the finest city. So, living in this America's finest city, what would you do? And should it still be considered America's finest city for being extremely unavailable and unaffordable? Thank you.